Hi everybody, we've had to set our construction plans aside to um, see about Tia's absence. So we're trying to find a replacement for these work boots we have. So we came into Abel's and Dora's in here shopping. So we thought, I'll talk to her. <laughs> oh, subscriber, didn't expect to run into you here. I'm a little shy about trying on clothes in front of anyone. I get worried about looking silly in something that's not my style, but then I worry I'll miss out otherwise. I know that's the whole point of trying on outfits before I buy them, so I can't really explain why I worry. I guess that <laughs> that's why you're hiding behind the clothes when we're talking to you, I guess. We're going to try the fitting room and see if we can get a replacement for these boots. Hmm. Somebody gave us this little dress to wear. But some of these little shirts are really cute. The botanical tea. Hmm. <laughs> it makes me want to change, but the shorts don't match the shirt, do they? Hmm. Hey, there's some nice glasses. I like those. Let's see what shoes they've got today. Will any of them go with our outfit? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Let's put our outfit back on. Well, we've got socks on. We could put bandages on our knees. Hmm. I guess the flip-flops are really kind of a coolish look. No high tops. Nope. I think we'll go with the sandals. And the new glasses. Yay! We'll do it. <laughs> Looking sharp. And that's how you do it, Dora. You just go in and you just do it. Well, with the help of the Able Sisters, we are ultra casual. And there's Flora. She's, she's gone fishing. Come on, fishing rod. Do your job. You haven't caught anything. Well... Flora, you just started. Give them a minute. <laughs> You've got to have patience when you fish. Alright, Tia is gone. Tia is gone. Alrighty, I guess that means that we have got to see how many uh, Nook Miles tickets we can buy. Oh, let's check the campground too. Oh, Sparks Fishing. Here, fishy, 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 come out of the water so I can taste you. <laughs> Yummy. All right, let's just run back. All Isabel had to say today was that label was in the courtyard of um, resident services. Please help her out. But we have no camper. So we're going to head over to Resident Services and see how many tickets we can buy. We're going to ignore <laughs> or try to ignore all of the beetles and twigs and fossils around and we're going to get on our get on our way and see how many tickets we can get. All right.
Oh, we missed a day. Oh, we only got 50 bonus miles. All right, we're going to redeem these miles. We have 30,000. And that's going to get us many tickets. 15, I guess. Now, before we leave, we're going to stop real quick. We're going to interrupt Tom Nook's exercises because we have to move Spork's house back. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your exercises, Tom. But we need to talk infrastructure. And I don't think we'll be getting Spork out of bed. Actually, he's been fishing, so we'll just want to move his house back to where it was before. We're going to have to interrupt his fishing this time and not his sleeping. <laughs> that might be just as bad if you ask me. Yeah, is that deja vu, Spork? Because I think we just did this the other day. We'll get your house moved back. There's one other thing we have to do before we start looking for a new neighbor, and that is get the turnip price for the day. As usual, I forgot to check the morning price, so we probably have missed a real good one. We'll have to check later. But we'll hop across the river and go see those boys about a turnip price. Hello, boys. Let's get some turnip prices. 63. Boy, they're going down. Oh, let's see if we have something to sell while we're here. We'll sell those. Not much money, but at least we got them out of our pockets. Just in case we find something we want on one of the islands we visit today. Thank you. Let's do it. And he, we want to fly today. Orville, we want to fly. Okay, here we are on our first island. Let's see what we can find. It looks like they have tulips. And cherry trees. Oh, it looks like a pig. Let's go see who it is. This is one of the circular islands that are always fun to run around. Whee! We're going to weave between the trees <laughs> and make it right to the center and greet Maggie! <laughs> Wow, I thought I'd be the only one on this tour. I'm Maggie. Did you really come here all the way from Hopemont? I think I flew past Hopemont once. It looked pretty from the air. <laughs> well, Maggie, we're going to have to say farewell. We're going to look for a message in a bottle and then be on our way. We were not going to invite you this time. I figure if we keep a better attitude about it, maybe we'll have better luck. Maggie was a pretty good looking neighbor prospect, but not what we're looking for today. And I do not see 
a message in a bottle. So we're going to go ahead and just go. Island number two. Oh, it looks like a cherry island also, but it looks like it has windflowers. Oh, it's a monkey. Simon, hey, nice to meet you. I'm Simon. I'm visiting this island today. You're Shamelin from Hopemont? That's real cool. This island's real neat, right? Let's have some fun together while we're both here. Well, I don't think so. I think I'm leaving. <laughs> but we'll look for a message in a bottle. There'll be no monkeying around. Alright, I do not see a message in a bottle. So, we'll just go ahead and go. Okay, island number three. It looks like cherries again and more windflowers. Let's see what we've got here. I see a campfire. Oh, I see a rhinoceros. Oh, he's got a... <laughs> he's got kind of a Frankenstein scar on his nose. Let's go see who it is, because I don't know who that is. I think it's a solid no, though. So if his name were No-No... Uh-oh. <laughs> I guess. Hi, yeah, I'm Spike. Came here on a whim, but this island doesn't seem half bad, punk. Hang on, you're Shamelin from Hope Mont, yeah? Had no idea this was some kind of trendy destination. But it's cool to be hobnobbing with you here. Well, hobnob no more, Spike. We're out of here. We're chasing away beetles, picking up rocks and looking for bottles on the beach. So far we haven't found a one. Nope, no bottles on the beach. Hmm. Here's another rock though. We like to collect rocks. We're out of here. All right, we decided that outfit wasn't working for us, so we got our Explorer shirt on. We're doing a kind of a Josh Gates wannabe. We left our fedora at home, of course, but we think we look the part of Explorer anyway, so let's cross our fingers and hope we find a new neighbor here. It looks like another Cherry Island, though. I have high hopes for this. I have low hopes for this. <laughs> Let's see. Well, even Josh Gates doesn't get it right on the first time every time. Twiggy. Wow, I didn't expect to see anybody on this island. Nice to meet you. I'm Twiggy. Why do you look angry, Twiggy? You're from Hopemont? I've totes heard of somebody Trey Cool from who's from there. Maybe you know them. Their name is Shamelin. Well, that's you? Wow. A pair of celebrities on one island. Well, I'm a celeb in training, but it's still fab. Um, yeah, Twiggy. Well, uh, I am... Um, out of here and I have to say that in whole words because I don't know the shortcut for that but laters still no message in a bottle we are striking out in that department let's check the other side real quick oh there's another rock 
All right. We're out of here. Okay, I think this is island number five. The explorer costume did not work, so we're going to dazzle them with plaid. Maybe we'll have some better luck this time. And look at there, we already are having better luck. I see a message in a bottle on the beach. Hooray! Still cherries, though. Oh. Uh, well, I said we'd go greet everybody. This is going to be kind of scary. I guess, uh, hmm. I think this might be Coco. I'm not real sure. I don't always remember the names. And <laughs> I didn't bring a ladder with me. At least we'll get a rock or two out of it. I wasn't expecting to meet anyone on this tour. I'm Coco. And you're Shamelin from Hopemont? I'm glad you stopped to talk to me. One thing I love about traveling is the chance to make new friends. Um, Coco. If you could just see... <laughs> if you could, if she could just turn around. And show the face. What is she supposed to be? Like Coco? Oh, there she is. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the face, all right. Um, hmm. Not our cup of tea. Not our cup of tea. I'm going to go ahead and get that bottle. And we'll check it. It's from Soleil. It's a bamboo basket. We already know it. We're going to leave it here for somebody else. Okay. We're out of here. The plaid was a bust. All right, we're going for a cutesy vibe on island number six, so let's hope this works. We'll check the beach. That's a nice waterfall. We'll check the beach for a, a bottle. Nope. Let's check the other side. I don't... Oh, I do see one. Yay. All right. from Rocco. A log dining table. We learned that a long time ago. So we're going to go ahead and drop that. All right. Let's see. I didn't bring my stick. So we're going to have to rely on climbing up to see these folks. All right. Do <laughs> you know where they are? We are on top of the world here. Can we even get around? There we go. Where are they hiding out? Uh-oh. Where are they hiding out? Oh, there they are. <laughs> Lily? Well, hello there. My name's Lily. You're Shamelin? Wait, you came here all the way from Hopemont? You're definitely more well-traveled than me. I am trying to fix that by touring new places like this island. Mom always says there's magic in chance encounters, so I'm glad we ran into each other like this. Well, Lily, you're great. But we already have two frogs on our island. So we're going to say pass. I just, I don't know. Lily, she looked so cute. 
But we'll keep looking. Here's island number seven, and we're going to try the cutesy approach again since, oh, yeah, apparently the cutesy approach is not working. Um, <laughs> let's see if we can get over there. Oh, we'll definitely <laughs> want to change our clothes. We're definitely going to want to change our clothes. All right. Well, we're trying so hard, and it, this is hard um, to try to find a good neighbor at random out of hundreds, so I guess we're doing a pretty good job. We did get a few rocks out of it, though. Azalea? Well, there's a fresh face. Are you visiting from another island as well? Of course you are. Well, my friends call me Azalea, and you are? Shamelin, all the way from Hope Mont even? Isn't that fascinating? Well, we may only be here a short time, but I do hope we get to know each other better. You don't know this about me yet, but I am always down to dish, darling. Well, I, I'm afraid we're not going to get to know each other better because I am always down to get back on the plane and go home. Cherry Island. Isn't that funny that most of the islands we've been to have had cherries on them? See ya. Okay, this time we're going to try Ultra Cash Blue and see how that works. Oh no, it's still a cherry island. <laughs> Let's check for a... Uh, don't peek, don't peek. Let's check for a bottle. There it is! You know, we very rarely get a new recipe or um, item from these bottles, but let's check. It's from Hamfrey. It's an Iron One DIY workbench. We already know it. Drop. <laughs> okay. Let's go see who our new neighbor isn't. <laughs> Uh-oh. Positive attitude. Positive attitude. Oh, it's a mouse. Well, shoot. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Let's go meet her. Penelope, well, you're the cutest thing I've ever seen. Dang it. Hi, Fab to meet you. I'm Penelope. Are you visiting from another island too? Hopemont? Wow. That's a big trip just to come hang out with me on this neat little island. Shamelin, let's get to know each other while I'm here. Oh, bo. <laughs> oh, bo. Oh, my goodness. She's so cute. Isn't she just the cutest thing? She's kind of like Dora. Oh, Dora's a mouse, too. Oh, shoot. Oh. The only thing better than kicking back and chilling on an island would be to do it forever. Spending time on an island is the best way to find your inner calm and hug it as hard as you can. If I lived on an island, oh Bo, I'd be the calmest, most relaxed mouse pop star you ever met. Oh, Penelope, why did you have to be a pop star? <laughs> oh... Do you want to live on my island? Move to Hopemont? Oh my gosh, yes! I could move to any old island, but this is way better since you'll be there. You hear that world? I'm moving to Hopemont. 
Yay! Okay, oh my gosh, moving. Okay, God, oh, so stressful. So much to do. Gotta calm down. Center yourself, Penelope. Find your happy place. Calm down. Phew, all better. So, so, all I've got to do to get this train going is to talk to Tom Nook. Easy. I cannot wait to have a chic Holtmont zip code. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go, folks. We've done it. We have a new neighbor, and she is going to be quite an addition to our island. Let's get back and get ready for her. Okay, well, we did it, and we have seven tickets left that we can store away for the next time. We're so happy that we found somebody that is so cute to come on onto our island. I usually don't go for the pop star types, but for a while, I think Penelope will be so cute and a wonderful addition to our little island neighborhood. So I can't wait to see her move in. It's going to be so much fun to see what her house looks like and the inside too. I can't wait. All right, so we need to continue on our island today, just checking on our neighbors and making sure everybody's okay. So let's stop over at Dora's house to see if she's home. Oh, we actually saw her in Abel's today. Let's go see if she bought something. <laughs> no, she's wearing the same outfit, but boy, she's having a nice cup of coffee. Not you again. Glad you stopped by. What's the latest? Recently, I was out for a stroll when I came across something someone must have dropped. I could tell it was a journal, but the owner didn't write a name anywhere on it that I could find. I feel a little guilty admitting to this, but I finally did peek inside and read some of that journal. The author wrote so lovingly about how grateful they were to their parents. It was just so sweet. <laughs> Uh-oh, is she trying to hint to us that we might be finding a journal? We found a bag the other day, and I was certain it was Dora's, and I started running around looking for Dora and forgot what I was doing. And the next thing you know, I was talking to Flora, and I had to ask Flora if it were hers. And she said no, she thought it was Dora's. So uh, you have to be very careful when you pick up those things that the person you think is the owner is the first person you talk to. Fauna, sweet song, glad to see you. I'm trying to make the most of today. Well, that's wonderful. Go catch a butterfly. Let's see. Let's see if Rattle's home. We had to let Rattle down the other day. He wanted a giant cicada, and we waited too long in the day. And the giant cicadas were already in for the night, and we missed out on giving him his cicada. It looks like he's crafting today. Check me out. I'm doing stuff. Well, what are you doing? I'm making me a wooden bookshelf. One of the bugs in the floor whispered the DIY instructions in my ear while I was sleeping last night. So I gotta build it before I forget what it even is. What? You already know how to make a wooden bookshelf? I sure do. That's real cool. You're always on top of things, and I'm usually stuck under them. I want to tell everybody about the wooden bookshelf, so I scribbled down the recipe. If you know anyone that wants to know how to make it, can you hand them this note? And maybe apologize for the cookie grease I smudged on the middle part. Sure enough, Rattle. It'd be great if a bunch of folks made a wooden bookshelf. Well, there are a lot of... There are a lot of voracious readers around this neighborhood. So here is where 
Penelope's home's gonna be. I think she'll like flowers. There's Plucky. Buck ah, Tome. I was hoping I'd see you. What's the latest, Plucky? You should swing by sometime. I'm working on a new frozen custard recipe. Hey, what's that face for? Uh, it was a face like, yeah, I'll be there in 10 minutes. I love frozen custard. All right, it looks like Fuchsia's home. Oh, no, Fuchsia. Wachui. <laughs> Ugh, I gotta stop shivering. Medicine delivery. Seriously? Hey, I'm not gonna complain. Oh, I'm sorry you're sick. Ah, I think I'm saved. Thanks. Whoa, I didn't expect that stuff to kick in so fast. I owe you big time, Shamelin. Here, why don't you take the simple parka? You earned it. Thanks. Seriously. Thanks a ton. If you hadn't come by, I might be a goner by now. Oh, for goodness sake, don't be a goner. <laughs> and who's running the restaurant? If you're sick, who's running the restaurant? Oh, no. Well, I'm glad we checked. All right, let's see. We, we saw Spork fishing earlier. And we just checked out Fuchsia. We saw Plucky. Hmm, we better... Oh, Mint's not home. There's Mint. Mint is not home. Let's see if Camo Frog is home. There goes Flora. We talked to Flora. She was fishing. Camo Frog is not home. Is he on the beach? Nope. There's Mint. Pashtam Tomei, I was just thinking about how lovely it would be to see you, by all means. Taking a leisurely stroll is one of my top priorities. It would be a crime not to enjoy this lovely weather. I agree. It's nice and breezy and warm. It's a wonderful day to wear a sleeveless, oversized dress. And look for Camo Frog because <laughs> he's not home and he's the only one we haven't seen. Oh, <laughs> and if you'll notice while I'm running around the island that every time I catch a mosquito, I've been putting him down. <laughs> and so if you notice as you're running around, well, there are mosquitoes everywhere. <laughs> Because otherwise they bite me and I've been trying to get rid of them. Oh boy, we've got some work to do on this river. How do we get across? We're looking for Camo Frog. Camo Frog. Where could he be? He's usually hanging around home. Maybe he's sitting in the throne. Maybe he's at the castle. Maybe he's in the park. Maybe he's at my house knocking on my door. <laughs> that would be too easy. He doesn't get around much. I think he's got arthritis in his little frog legs. I hope we're not going to be in trouble on our turnips either because the price has been going down. And I did miss the morning price. Monday morning, Tuesday morning, and Wednesday morning. There's another mosquito. Uh, <laughs> they're everywhere. Because you know why? Because mosquitoes are everywhere. <laughs> Uh-oh. Fun has got to flee. Wow, look at that. The curse is lifted. Ah, 
Mom, did anyone see you catch a flea on me? Sorry, I should be thanking you for that, that's all. Yeah, yikes. That's no fun. All right, and remember Dora said something about finding a, a journal. Well, I haven't seen anything, so maybe she was just talking because we had found something the other day, but I don't know. Uh, I, I guess I haven't been everywhere, so we should kind of wander around just in case we do see a journal or something. Um, I think that might be a giant cicada over there. I know it's too late for rattle. Ha ha! But at least we can say we got one. It was only about three days late or something. Okay, well, there won't be any more catching of bugs because, oh yes, I still have another net. Ha ha! Aha, bugs! <laughs> he thought he thought you had won, but I I still have another net. All right. I don't see any journals laying around. She's got me curious now that she dropped that big hint, and um, I don't want to miss anything and I know we just found like I say that bag the other day and that was Dora's so hmm we'll be looking around hey Spork's got the zoomies <laughs> Spork's got the zoomies woohoo Spork have you seen anybody dropping anything <laughs> today because we're curious. We're curious if we're going to find a missing bag. We're curious about running around and finding some missing items. Who would have dropped it? Do you think you would ever find a missing bag in the restaurant? Or is it always going to be on the grass? Hmm, that's a good question. That's a good question. There's nothing over by Abel's. There's nothing over by Flora's. I didn't see anything in the park. Do you think you could find one on the beach? Hmm. What is that bug? Let's see if we can catch that bug because I, I'm not familiar with that one. Oh, it's a jewel beetle. Okay. Well, cool. Let's go look in the Cherry Cherry Overlook and see if we see a journal. market. That would be a bad place to lose something, wouldn't it? Or over. Oh, look. Floor is playing the harp. Isn't that sweet? And she's wearing the sunshine tank. quite the musician. <laughs> I love when I run across things like that. How special. You should sing too, Flora. Oh, Cool. Alright. We're still trying to see if there's a journal lost anywhere and we were going to go up on the cherry cherry overlook and we haven't gotten around over there yet so see if we can 
Get over there. How about the bamboo? No, as long as we're on this side of the river, we're staying. I don't see anything over there. Maybe she was just talking about it to remind us that we should be looking out for stuff. And it wasn't really going to actually happen. We should just be aware that we can find stuff. I guess that's what it is, because I sure don't see anything. And I think they kind of make it kind of obvious anyway. It's not something you would have to hunt for. You just have to be in the right place at the right time. So... Yeah, I think she might have been just talking. I don't see nothing. Yep, we're going to say she was just talking. And you know, in all that running around, guess who we did not see? We did not see Camel Frog. I guess we should check his house one more time, and then if not, we'll check the coffee shop. Alright, let's run down. We'll go to Camel Frogs. He's on the other side of the flea market. There he is! Let's get rid of this net so we don't bonk him over the head. It's all butter! Always a pleasure. I want to chat, but I also want to tell you, stop wearing a Christmas sweater in July. <laughs> the weather is downright pleasant, like my sunny disposition. Then why are you wearing a Christmas sweater? That's all I got to say. <laughs> Flora. Good to see you again, Pinky. Let's talk. This Saturday is the fishing tourney. I can't wait, Shamelin. I have to start thinking about what I'm going to wear. I've got to look good when I accept my trophy. Oh, think again. <laughs> anyway, she is she is fishing a lot. She was just fishing today, so she's been practicing. We might get a little competition <laughs> in the tourney. All right. All right, so we're going to wrap this up today. We have checked on all of our neighbors. Poor Fuchsia was sick, and we gave her some medicine, and Rattle was crafting, but we had already made a wooden bookshelf. But he seemed to be having a real good time uh, making himself one of those. The island is all secure. We're, we're going through some changes, but things are happening, and I think everybody is liking the way things are going. Uh, we've got a new neighbor moving in. Penelope, the mouse, will be moving in in Tia's old spot. So I can't wait to get her settled and get her into the neighborhood so she can meet everybody. And life goes on here and it's just a happy place and, and we just love it here. And we hope that you do too. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more and come back and see Penelope move in and see what kind of furniture she's got. Do you ever do that when you have neighbors move in? Peek out the window and see what kind of furniture they have as they're unloading their truck. <laughs> Maybe we can do that. And we'll keep an eye out for any lost journals because Dora has given us a hint that there may be lost journals around and you just have to find out whose it is and give it back to them. So we'll keep up with stuff. And we hope you will have the wonderful rest of your day. I appreciate you joining us. Please come back again and again. We'd love to have you. Bye for now. Please join Shamelin and her neighbors, Dora, Plucky, Spork, Camel Frog, Rattle, Fuchsia, 
flora, mint, fauna, and soon-to-be Penelope. See you again soon.